Yes, yeah, so I trained as an illustrator. Uh, I do a good majority of the artwork for Diluvian. And uh, just in general, I feel like that background helps me work with other artists. And uh, I also have some technical background. So I try to use both of those to help the whole team communicate. So we have three full-time full team members, including myself. And then we work with four or five other contractors. So the core team, we're all in the same office, and that's like the game design and the artwork and the programming, because you have to communicate constantly for that. And then we have contractors working on like sound design and music composition and writing game design, stuff like that. Deluvian is a deep sea adventure exploration game. And there's a, a main campaign to take you through the different parts of the ocean that we've kind of fleshed out. But also, it's about exploring. So at any point, we want to make sure that it's fun and rewarding to go out off of the main campaign thread and just explore, find landmarks, uh, different parts of the ocean and just stuff, cool stuff in general. Uh, you play as the captain of a submarine, you have a crew that goes with you. While you're out exploring, you can hire on new crew members, you can upgrade your sub, you can buy new subs. Uh, a lot of the influences for it visually are Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, like Disney Atlantis, that kind of heavy, welded, like diesel submarines. Um, and then big influences and inspirations on the gameplay side are like FTL, Freelancer, Elite Dangerous. So all kind of came together. You can talk with your crew members, they'll talk with each other and like they kind of get to know each other as you go along. Um, they react to stuff that happens in the story and around you while you're exploring. Uh, it's not RPG-like in the sense that they don't level up. Um, they do have stats, which like, let's say this guy will be much better at gunning because of his stats than sonar. Um, but there's not like a level up system. So we felt like that would kind of draw too much away from the core pillar of the game of being exploration. All right, so the game's coming out this fall, later in the fall. Um, you can get it on PC and Mac, it'll be on Steam and GOG. Uh, 